Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol NDRA. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like to do this time frame, and it's a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Very nice movement today, not only from the price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume and well above average volume on the day. So a lot of eyeballs on this one. So let's map out some areas of support and then we can talk levels of resistance. So the first area of support is what I would call the ideal level. And we've said, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? And that would be if the price could stay up there above $2.30. Now, don't get me wrong. If the price falls below two thirty, I'm not saying the entire chart's destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could manage to stay up above that area, that would definitely be a huge sign of power going forward. Taking a step back and looking at things from more so the big picture point of view, that is where the purple line here comes into play, the famous 50 period simple moving average. Keyword being moving, as time goes by, that line there is going to move itself higher and higher. So a very basic yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move, that right there being defined as the move. Just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. How you can best visualize that, that is what is being represented. Again, yeah, staying above 230 would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. What about areas of resistance? As far as where the sellers are hanging out at, initial level seems to be right here in the short term, right around the $2.70 mark. And then after that, next key level is essentially just where the party stopped today, and that was right up there around $2.95. So I get it. It is always fun to talk about breaking new highs and testing previous highs, which is what $2.95 represents. But in many cases, as is the case here, usually there's an initial bridge that first needs to be crossed before you start talking about, you know, kind of that fun level of resistance. And while $2.95 is fun to talk about, that first hurdle does remain right down there around $2.70. All in all, though, great movement today, great solid volume. We'll see if the bulls can build upon this momentum going forward or not. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.